Okay, I'm going to give this a shot to try to explain these springs. This is in, um, I'm talking about the secondary throttle shaft, which as you can see is still here in the base plate. And uh, since I'm getting ready to drill out the plate so I can install bushings, I thought this was an excellent opportunity to go over some of these things because frankly I've been trying to explain this to myself. Again, you have a couple of springs and you want to make sure that they're, you know, they look proper. There's no, you know, they're not ruined or bent or anything like that. And then you have this other spring again. You want to make sure that all the all the coils are nice and everything is is even. And then we have this little lever. Now, before we install the whole thing, the lever works uh, along with uh, with a rod. This funky looking rod here and this is how the lever goes into the the shaft as you can see it's just gonna spins here until you start you know including all or adding all the um, the springs so this is the position and then you have this kind of half moon portion of it as you can see that that faces outward now this again this is for explanation purposes you have the rod that has to be connected to this lever and let me see how I did this last time so you go like this rotate this to this portion here and you just let it kind of fall into the um, into the loop there and once you do that, that is the position where this where this goes. And we'll get into the, the details of how this interacts with the uh, primaries, um, with the throttle mechanism and all of that later. But this is how this thing goes. And I wanted to explain that because eventually when we put it all together, we want to remember how this has to be installed because when you take the primary shaft, this would fit in here and that would give you the the action to operate the uh, the throttle and the secondaries as well so I'm gonna take this apart just so I don't have all this thing kind of dangling around here and that is out so first we have this spring and what I discover is if I position it like that, this is how it sits in relation to the to the plate. Because you'll see here, and we'll talk about this little pocket down here in a sec. If you leave it like that, it'll make your life easier, I believe. Then you have the lever. The lever goes in next. And again, this sits in here. You can notice that, and you have this end of the of the first spring that has a little hook. Well, that hook is supposed to connect there to the end of the lever. Let's see it from a different angle. And again, all the coils are nice and even. Next, what you want to do is, because you want to install this bigger spring, and this has like a little weird shape here that goes around the, uh, the shaft, and also this middle portion that actually hooks in here in this slot. So what you want to do is, this again is loose. You want to rotate it. So you see the half moon here, now you have full access to the to the slot here. You take your spring and you will work it into position. And this again is, there's a little bit of 
tension there, so not a big deal. Kind of snaps in there. Okay. So then we have this spring it's hooked in here. Once you start rotating the the lever, as you can see, it keeps set in place. But then we have this tail sticking up here. No big deal. Again, going back to the first spring. Going back to the first spring, you see the little hook connects back here. And the reason I like to leave it like this is because then I have access to the very end so I can grab it with the needle nose pliers. And you want to get a good hold of that. And carefully, you don't have to damage anything. You want to pull it in here, past that pocket. And then, and this is where it gets a little tricky, you want to keep pulling, bring, bring it all around. Again, keeping this nice and even. And then you just bring it over the pocket here and let it go. And if everything goes according to plan, which should, you will see the end of that spring sitting in there in the pocket. And all the loops look normal. Nothing is kind of cross-threaded or anything like that. And you can see the little tail of the, of the spring in there. And then we have the second spring. Now this end is going to snap under this little tab here. And to do that again, all you want to do is grab it with your needle nose pliers. And this is not very difficult. You want to pull it. Again, you don't want to, you don't want to cross thread or anything. And before you do that, you want to hold the, because this is going to be kind of, you're going to be pulling the whole thing if you do it this way. So you want to hold your um, secondary flaps, grab this, pull it around under here and then let it go and that is it <sighs> I hope this made some sense again check everything so everything looks good and clean and check the action and that is good and again we'll go into the, the details of this thingy a little later on. This is the action, this snaps, you know, back into the close position because of the spring action. So, and it took me a while, I watched some videos and it's, I can understand how difficult it is to not only explain this, but also demonstrate. And I'm alone here with my tripod and my iPhone trying to film all of this. So I, I sincerely hope that this is making sense for you. And um, if you get to this point, don't be intimidated by having to take the, um, the base plate apart. I chose not to do these at this point. I may do that later, but at least I got the... Um, the primary shaft, the throttle shaft out because of course we're going to be drilling in here and uh, installing bushings which should be arriving in the next couple of days and um, so anyway that's it for now while I'm at it I'm also going to demonstrate how to take the, these um, springs off and also that little lever this rod is already out, disconnected. Doesn't really matter. I don't want stuff in my way. So again, to recap, this outer spring is connected here onto this tab. All you have to do is grab a hold of that end. You can do it in either direction here. I'm going to go from the side. I'm going to try to show you this. And while you hold the one of the flaps here closed, you want to 
push down and release the spring. That's all that's required to let that go. Then you can rotate can hold this spring, rotate this lever so this half moon clears the the slot here and then you can just pop it out of there. Now of course you still have the other one connected but once you remove that spring this will rotate and then you can take this one out. And that is it. It's a little confusing at first, but if you do it, I mean, just even practicing five or six times, you'll be an expert.